this video is to allow you to upgrade your uh, Active Inspire software, update it, and uh, also to make sure you have the most current drivers so that Active Inspire works correctly. And that, mean, that means a variety of things, including your pens or sound or anything to do with Active Inspire and your Promethean board. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Active Inspire icon, click on that, and of course Active Inspire then opens up. In this case we just want to continue to open Active Inspire. This should look fairly familiar. There might be some things that pop up. In this particular case it says Flash is not installed. Uh, ignore that so you can click don't show this message again. And now you have your window here. What you want to do is go to the menu up at the top left side of the screen. And you want to click on help. And one of the things you'll see among the choices is check for updates. So I'm going to click on updates. And if your uh, Active Inspire is updated to the most ver com or most uh, uh, um, updated version, you will get a message that tells you that. Just say okay. In this particular case, this uh, Active Inspire is not updated yet, and it tells me that version 1.856 on and on and on is available for download. Just hit okay, and it will now go and search for the Active Inspire update comes up in a window here if you look at that it'll say active inspire do you want to save or run we just want to run it so hit run it's going to run a security scan and as soon as that security scan is over it'll actually start um, start the upload And as you can see, it's starting to do what it's going to do. Now, the one key thing here is Active Inspire will not, um, it will not load if Active Inspire is open. So we need to close Active Inspire. So close your Active Inspire window. And now you're ready to actually download and make the software run on your computer. So click Next. Don't worry about the other messages. You have to accept the terms of agreement as any kind of download. So we'll click on that button, hit next. Um, it asks if you want to change the folder. In most cases, it's a default folder unless you've customized it. And so just hit next, and then the install button actually comes up. So when you hit install, it will now go through and it will. Um, or download the files necessary, backs up some files, uh, writes the new files to the program, copies the new files. At this point you just have to let it run. And then if you've done it correctly it will come up and it will tell you that successfully installed Active Inspire, the latest version, and all you do is hit finish. As you can see now, the download list is clear because Active Inspire has download. Close that and you're ready to go. So if I were to now go back and open up Active Inspire just to make sure the download took. Active Inspire opens up. Takes just a little bit longer because it's finding the newer version. And there it goes, and now up comes your dashboard. There's no warning, there's no message, and if you really want to just double check to make sure everything's fine, go back to your help button, check for updates, and as you can see from the message it says the update check was successful, you currently have the latest version. And just say OK, and now you can use your Active Inspire, Active Inspire with the latest version. So that's how you upgrade or update your Active Inspire software.
Now that you've updated your Active Inspire software, you also need to make sure you have the latest drivers. This is important for the uh, complete function of Active Inspire and your Promethean board. So once again, uh, just to make it easy, you can go and open up your Active Inspire. It opens up. Once again, what you want to do is go up to help. And the reason I ha do this is because it takes you right to the Promethean Planet website. You don't have to remember uh, what the URL is. You just click on Promethean Planet. And Promethean Planet now opens up. Now to make sure it loads correctly, just go over behind there and close Active Inspire. So now I just have the Promethean Planet site up. I want to focus on going to support. So I click on the support button. And now I look at the left hand menu and I want to look at software because this is actually the drivers are the software. When I click on that it gives me choices. In this particular case I want Active Inspire software. Now you've already updated your software so you don't have to worry about uh, doing that again but if you now go over to the right hand side of the of the box you'll see a variety of things and what you want to look for let's focus this a little bit might be a little too tight what you want to focus on is the active driver x32 for windows click on that and down at the bottom now, it will say, do you want to save Active Driver on and on and on from Promethean Planet? You want to run that. And that will now open up another window. It's actually going to go through. And if your Promethean board is on, you'll actually hear some sounds as it goes through here. Just like any other software, when the pop where, when the pop-up comes up, click on next. Now, right here, you're going to have a choice of Active Inspire or Active Driver USB only, or Active Driver USB for serial. Touch the button before there. We want both, and then hit next, and then hit install. And as you can see, it's going to copy files. It's also going to do some different things. And if your Promethean board is on, you'll actually hear it, a, a kind of a sound when it uninstalls and then another sound when it actually installs. It's, over, it's writing over the current driver. So as you can see, it's kind of right there, kind of waiting. It'll, hold, it'll take a little bit and then it will finish pretty quickly. And there it is. Um, click on finish at the end and then you can close out the Promethean Planet website and that now means you have the latest Active Inspire software. I'll click on Active Inspire. It opens up. And you now have the latest software and also the latest drivers. If at any time your PC does not allow you to upgrade the software or the drivers, it gives you an error message or says something about you don't have the rights, uh, make sure you contact the IT department and they can help you with that. Now you should be all set to go.